Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Adwolf here. And yes, I'm making a second video today. Um, I'm trying to branch out a little bit since, um, you know, Cyrax is kind of boring and all, and there's not really much going on. Um, I was told about this guy, um, by one of my subscribers a few, like a couple weeks ago, actually. Um, I haven't really checked him out yet, but he does talk kind of slow, so I sped it up a little bit. Um, his name is Jared Genesis. Um, and this is his experience with Cyrax, quote unquote. Uh, yeah. Let's watch. What's going on, y'all? It's the Genesis. How we doing today? I got no food on the face. That's always a good thing. Uh, that is what she said. So, <laughs> I was thinking today, you it's know, like one what give me a lot of one and a because feet. I want to be a cloud chasing cunt rag. Uh, since I just started here, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, listen, man, you gotta do what you gotta do. When you lose a channel, you gotta try your best to get those views again. Plus, I can tell it's making my haters really scared. Is anybody really scared of this dude? Uh, hmm. I wonder if this guy uh, likes to strike channels. Hmm. I'm curious about that. Scared. But I was thinking to myself, okay, let's do some law cow shit because we all know I'm daddy law cow and that's what the people like. So uh, today is my experience with Cyrax. <laughs> Cheers, Cyrax. Love you, bro. Now, oh, let me just say this, okay, because my trolls are going to spam this in the comments because they're just assholes and, you know, they have nothing on me, but... <clears throat> I understand Cyrax doesn't care for me, okay? But that's only because he didn't see Cyrax that I was care for anybody. Every single troll, every gang stalker that I have knows that I was just being an edgelord. They know this. They just want to ruin me because they want to feel like they did a little something in life. And I can promise you from the bottom of my fucking heart, that's the same reason they're going after Cyrax, okay? Cyrax uh, no, never not. did anything wrong, dude. <laughs> All right. I mean, you know... His All right, that pisses me off right there. Cyrax has done plenty of fucking wrong. He's a pedophile. He's fucking... Oh, my God, dude. You're a fucking moron. God, I see why you have quote-unquote haters. You're a fucking idiot. Why don't you go fucking cuddle up to him, huh? Little bitch. His past is his past, but I'm saying, like, in this time frame, whatever. He hasn't done anything, to my knowledge, anyway. And people are trying to paint him again, you know, like with me, the P-word and all that silly bullshit, because that's the best way to cancel someone. He is. Um, this is why I feel for the guy and want to try to help him. You know what I'm saying? Um, <clears throat> he went through the same shit that I went through. And I'm just going to say this right now, okay? I don't... I'm not going to say I'm in love with Cyrax, but I think he's a decent dude, all right? I mean, really, I... He's not. I think he's a genuinely cool guy for the most part, all right? Now, with that said, I mean, you know, we all have our fucking flaws and whatnot, but um, I actually like this guy. He seems like someone, you know, who is at least a fucking half-decent person. I mean, God, you know, he's just, um, look, man, sometimes it, it takes a while to sort of find your zen in life, you know, to find your fucking balance or whatever. And I think he's just still on that path, and it happens, dude. It happens to the best of us, I'll be, especially people who are more unique, you know, who don't really fit in this world. I think Cyrax is one of those people. I think he's a unique individual, okay? He's a fucking pedophile. No. I mean, um, <laughs> maybe he's experimented with hard drugs in his life. I don't know. I'm not going to judge him for that. But if he has, you know, that's his own choice, and he doesn't deserve hate for that. Okay, the only reason I brought that up is because, look, man, you know, I've, I've known some homies in my life who've abused heroin and meth, and he looks... I've done plenty of drugs in my life. That's not the fucking point. The point is, he said, I can send this fucking dick pic to fucking people he thought was minor. And he's also admitted to sending it to other minors. God. Why don't you go fucking fend him over? It sounds like you want to. Like, he may have, you know, <laughs> dabbled a little bit, and that's okay. You know what I mean? Um, I'm not here to judge the guy, okay? I mean, it could just be stress, honestly. But you can tell he has some um, prominent features about him, all right? And that, again, it could just be from stress, so I don't want to entirely judge him here. I mean, I'm overweight. I have balding hair. I'm sure as hell not perfect myself. But um, I, I think I heard him mention something about drug use in his videos, possibly. I don't really know. Um, but I don't mean to make assumptions. I'm, I'm just saying, dude, like, you know, that could be a path he took in his life. And if it is, you know, um, 
he doesn't deserve to be judged for it. Judging people is dumb to begin with, bro. When I was on TikTok, bro, I had so many getting. people just straight up judging Jackass. me in my face, bro. You know what I'm saying? Even Christians, dude. Like, Christians would straight up judge me. And they would take the Bible out of context, you know, trying to justify their asshole behavior with me. Um, and that's the same shit that turns people away from the church, man. Like, on some real shit. On some... And that's another thing. People are loving to fucking attack Christians nowadays. That's, that's a really popular thing. And no, I'm not Christian at all. Don't get me wrong. I'm a fucking atheist. But it's just, I just noticed that's really low-hanging fruit for everybody now. But this guy, oh my god. How does he not know anything about fucking Cyrax? Especially if he's going to be talking about him. It's like fucking foodie beauty. Heavy shit. When you act like that, dude, you're just going to make people think that, you know, Christianity is lame. So, uh, you ain't doing God's will when you do that. Alright? You're not, bro. You're not. <laughs> you guys need to check yourself before you wreck yourself, bro. But anyways, guys, um, yeah, dude, I only knew Cyrax for like a few months. Um, this guy, this fucking guy, his name was Spooky. Um, he introduced me to him, and I know this spooky guy was just trying to clout chase with me. He was basically grooming me, um, to try to be my friend, you know, <laughs> and he kept bugging me about Cyrax. Let's do a Cyrax interview, Jared. Let's do a Cyrax. Cyrax time. Cyrax. <laughs> it's like, shut up, bro. Like, really, you're in your 30s trying to clout chase. What the hell's wrong with you? And he had a family, too. I just feel sorry for people like that, bro. And how you old do are you? shit like that in their fucking 30s. You know, I had another guy, this fucking guy, he tried to friend request me, his name is Austin. He was doing that same corny shit with me. You know what I mean? It's like, ugh, it never ends with these desperate ass people, bro. And I just, I don't deal with them anymore. But, um, if you guys were curious what we talked about, um, he showed me some of his music, which some of it is actually solid, I gotta say. I actually do like some of his shit. Um, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's not, look, it's not something that probably win any Grammys. But I, I think he's at least, you know, I think he gets too much hate for that. I think he's at least decent at what he does. Not so much guitar. He needs work on that. Mostly his guitar is insanely out of tune, I noticed. But I mean, aside from that, dude, guitar really isn't even hard to play. Like, if you want an instrument that's hard to play, try, like, the fucking clarinet. You know, you know what I mean? Like a woodwind instrument where you have to learn to read notes. Guitar, I mean, you can learn tabs. But really, dude, if you have a nice sounding guitar, you can sound like a god and still suck. You know what I mean? Guitar. Oh, my god, this guy pisses me off. Oh my god. Have any of you guys heard of this guy before? He fucking pisses me off. I don't know. Maybe that's just me, but... Oh my god. It's not a hard instrument to learn, bro. Drums, eh, you know, it takes a little practice, but it's really not that hard either, man. Uh, it's like, if you have a really good kid, you can sound like a fucking Neil Peart, bro, even if you suck. But yeah, bro. You know what I mean? A lot of people, they don't realize, like, <laughs> rock instruments compared to, like, classical instruments. It's just two different worlds, man. You know, if you want to be a good trumpet player, you got to work your fucking ass off, bro. And I know it probably differs for some people. Some people probably are just naturally more gifted at other things. But, like, on some real shit, dude, like, it's... <laughs> in my opinion, it's it's not hard to play guitar, okay? I mean, unless you could sound like fucking this guy over here, Jimi Hendrix, which not many people can, but... These days, let's just say, with the kind of music out, it's, it's not hard to be a fucking, you know, a musician in a rock band or whatever, uh, but if you were want to play, you know, want to play in the fucking symphony or whatever, yeah, that would take years, not decades of practice. Um, I never played any woodwind instruments. I always wanted to learn to play the sax. I thought that'd be rad. <laughs> but yeah, man, you, you really gotta learn to like, <laughs> you gotta like, I don't know, I don't know what the fucking term is, but you have to learn. <laughs> okay, forgive me guys, this is really gay, but you have to learn how to blow, okay? I, I don't know how else to say it. Like, there's a certain way to blow into the instrument that takes a lot of practice and uh, it seems really difficult to me. But anyways, um, there you guys go. Got to learn how to blow. <laughs> and um, anyways, guys, I don't really have much else to say about Cyrax. Um, yeah, he showed me his music. You know, we, we talked about other things. And I just remember one time he was on a live stream and it was just me and him. <laughs> he had a new channel. And, you know, it's just I saw so much determination in his eyes. And, you know, the kid's got heart, man. And I really do wish him the best. It's just I think he's like wings in regards to he feels sorry for himself a lot. And he needs to just stop doing that, bro. You know, like, you don't need anyone's pity, dude. He doesn't get anyone's fucking pity. He's a fucking pedophile. You don't need to feel sorry for yourself. You know, the world is full of shitty people. It's not your fault, bro. You just gotta learn to make it strong, make you stronger. And, um, <clears throat> excuse me. You know, you gotta learn to let it make you stronger. I'm sorry, guys, I'm half asleep, bro. I should have my coffee first. And, um, hopefully, bro, you know, I know he's been on YouTube for a good while, but hopefully he'll develop more thick skin and be able to take it better because you know with the level of gang stalking that this guy's dealt with i just gotta say bro it, it is really as much as i hate to say it it really is a miracle that he hasn't killed himself um and i'm glad for that i am i am glad for that he does not 
deserve to do that like his scumbag trolls say okay yeah if anyone does it's them I'm not saying they should do it but <laughs> you devote your life to you know trying to make someone else miserable how valuable is your life dude not very fucking valuable uh i'm just saying bro at least he's out there trying to get it bro you know these trolls uh, i got so many losers bro who love to run their mouth at me and yet they got nothing going on in their life it's just amazing dude and it's all a cope it's all projection and I can tell Cyrax's trolls, dude, they're all just people projecting their sad fucking lives on him, bro. You know, it's junkies, like, with drunken peasants. They're a bunch of libtard junkies. And then you got, you know, the Chris clan. They're just a bunch of loser simps. All right, fucking white supremacists. And, uh, uh -huh. no, fucking wizard. Oh, Lord. That's that's basically a DP audience right there. Just fucking maggot brain meth heads. Uh, motherfuckers, you know what I mean? Just people who never made it in life. And who are looking to try to get validation by tearing someone else down. That's what a troll is, guys. That's what a troll is. It's just an unhappy, miserable person. And honestly, I'm just praying for those types, bro, because let me tell you guys something, dude, okay? You want to talk about suicide and shit? It's usually, like, I would say the troll types who end up doing it because they're the ones that choose to just live this stupid life of hate. Okay, I probably don't want to listen to this guy anymore. God. So he really sympathizes with uh, Cyrax, huh? Huh. Does that surprise anybody? No, not really. It doesn't surprise me, at least, not anymore. Fucking hell. Oh god, he's got so much going on. Oh. The fucking pedophile. Why are you a law cow, huh? It, it. Oh well. Oh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I'm going to be trying to reach out more, uh, branch out more to more different people. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing. It really helps out the channel. And I'll catch you guys later.